And then, this is what a marriage looks like. Beginning, this is what a marriage looks like. Building, and blossoming, and blossoming. And then, this is what a marriage looks like. Beginning, this is what a marriage looks like. Building, and blossoming, and blossoming.
Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live for this Thursday, September 5th, 2013. Thanks to Emperor Cabs and the Music Garage. We're really blessed to have in the studio today with us, Native. Thanks a lot, guys, for being here. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having yeah. us. Yeah. Hey, so I was wondering, as a band or as individuals, um, I know that you are strong advocates for social change and, like, a, you know, political climate. Um, are there any volunteer organizations or, like, uh, I don't know, political activism things that either of you do or that you support as a band? Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I currently... Uh, I'm in an organization for socialists uh, that do a lot of work um, throughout the country. And uh, there's also a lot of different community things going on in every single community, you know, Occupy movements and things like that, that are definitely worth supporting. So um, it really just depends on, like, the organization uh, per town. Sure. But there's some everywhere, as we found out. Sure. So, sure. so maybe the smaller communities or the... Uh Organizations in the community is the best way to support. I, th I think so. You feel? Absolutely, it's uh, these kind of sort of movements always really depend on grassroots organizations. I feel cool to really get a solid, um, loyal base. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, in your hometown or in any towns that you're close to or whatever, do you have one? You know, you can name drop them or support them here or anything that you like. Um, I, I've always been a big supporter of the IWW, which okay. is founded internationally, but there is a Chicago chapter. Cool. I, I would suggest checking out. But it's a pretty old, old organization but going back to the early 1900s. Cool. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome. Thanks again for being here, dudes. And uh, let's go into your next set. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> with Native Valparaiso, Indiana, and uh, Chicago representing here today. Could either of you, again, individually, or probably Ed, um, <laughs> speak to uh, social media and how that you feel it positively influences our like, current culture, and especially as young people in a band? Absolutely. Um, I feel that um, social media is really helped bridge the gap that was, for, you know, formerly really hard to do, especially with such a large country and so many different kinds of people. And, um, you know, there's plenty of people out there using social media for positive change and spreading messages that are positive, and I use positive twice. Oh, well. <laughs> That's um, all right. No, but really, uh, it's just a, a fantastic communication tool if you know how to use it right, and there's plenty of people who do. And sure. I think that uh, it's important to use it for good Yeah. instead of pandering to, you know, 
garbage news. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, does it help you with like the very DIY mentality that you guys take? Um, does it help you organize uh, either shows or any sort of like promotional stuff? Uh, yeah, definitely. I feel, you know, especially before we had people helping us out, it was essential to helping us uh, get out on the road and yeah. meet new people. And that's really the best part about it is that you, when you can do all of your own work yourself, you are making relationships with people. And yeah. I think it's important even if you choose to grow and stuff that you do try to maintain some sort of intimate relationship with people. Yeah, right. It's kind of like in a way leveled the playing field between <clears throat> listeners and bands just because mm -hmm. like I feel like there was a time before social media where uh, people that listen to music didn't really have an opportunity to talk to the bands and now they have an opportunity to talk directly to the bands. Okay, cool, yeah. So it's kind of made being in a band a lot more personal and especially in the last five years where Twitter and things like Facebook and Instagram really rose up and... Uh, like I said, level the playing field completely. Yeah, it's kind of destroyed that whole rock star hero mentality, yeah. which we abhor. So right, yeah. and and formed good relationships or like easier relationships between like the sort of consumer, if you will, and musician yeah. thing. You know, it kind of destroys that whole culture in general between yeah. like people aren't consumers. You know. Yeah, they're just like trying to relate to the band exactly. in whatever way they can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. All right, dudes, go into your next track. Anyway, the first time I don't remember too well. It's cold without meetings in town. Anyway, the first time I don't remember too well. But it was like we was both back in the old times without meetings in town. So I was a horse fan. Anyway, the first time I don't remember. Yeah! 
while you guys are tuning up for the last track, um, could you just tell me any any bands that currently are touring that you're touring with or that you know that just you support that you think are doing the right thing for whatever scene they're in? They don't have to be like you, you know, for listeners or for uh, your guys' sake, I suppose. Uh, right now we're on a tour with a couple bands called uh, Oh Brother and Daylight. Uh, we're actually playing in Chicago tonight with them at the Bottom Lounge. Yeah. Um, both those bands are really, they've been really kind to us. The, uh, um, I would, we would like to take this time to plug a band called Caspian. Oh yeah, for um, sure. They did an audio tree session a couple months ago, yeah. and they're a fucking phenomenal band. Um, and they just dealt with some pretty hard stuff, so be sure to help them out. Cool. And they'll be on the road uh, coming up this fall too. Brighter Arrows. Yeah. yeah, Brighter Rose is pretty much our favorite mm -hmm. band right now. <laughs> awesome. Where are they from? Where oh, are they? Half from Chesterton, half from Chicago. Okay, yeah. cool. Hometown. Brighter Rose. Arrows. Yeah. Like, okay. Incredible band. They yeah, just they came just out with an album called uh, Dreamliner. Dreamliner. Awesome. Yeah, I'll check it out for sure. Um, yeah, so 7 o'clock, our doors at the Bottom Lounge show tonight. These dudes will probably play. There's two openers for you, right? So probably, I don't uh, know. So we play around 9.30. Okay, 9.30. But it, sweet. yeah, the openers are excellent, so okay. just checking it out. Yeah, so get there at 7. Yeah. Um, Okay, and then uh, Orthodox is out now. Correct. Um, it's been out for a while. Since August um, 20th. Since August 20th, awesome. Check that out, purchase it. It's available um, online and that kind of thing. And then they're continuing touring, so anybody who's listening who's not from the Chicago area who can't check out the show tonight, um, they've got shows in... Uh, heading August. east now, so yeah, most of the east, east coast, you can check us out. Okay, cool, awesome. Um, I was wondering one last thing about you guys. Is there a continual topic of debate that you have in the car, whether serious or sort of sort of uh, mundane, you know, that you have as a group? Uh, yeah, there's a lot. I would say most of our conversations and debates, although we usually see eye to eye on everything, is uh, mostly ethics. Okay. Whether it be, you know, business ethics of how to run a band or cultural ethics. Um, it's just that it's always a gray area, so it's always good to get on the same page on almost every issue, just yeah. so you can tackle it all at once. Yeah, so you guys are willing to open up all these boxes to explain I, I think between that, you. Yeah, it's a serious lack of opening up boxes in our culture. I think we're asking the wrong questions. Yeah. So it's always trying to figure out what the right ones are. Cool. Yeah. All right. Audio Tree Live, the native. Play your last one, guys. Thanks so much, guys. <laughs>
right. Thank you. Bobby, Ed, Dan, and Nick of Native chilling with us today. Thanks again, guys, for being here. Thanks, Thanks to uh, Emperor Cabs, the Music Garage. Thanks to the people on the cameras, guys in the studio, and sound engineers helping us out today. And uh, thanks to viewers who watched. Um, if you, uh, sorry, if you like what you heard, or you just want to connect with the band or us, feel free to send us a Twitter or a Facebook, and uh, check out all the other awesome sessions at audiotree.tv. Goodbye. <laughs>